Hi guys, thanks for joining me in episode four. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to use Native Instruments Complete Control to output MIDI uh, that you're using to generate chord progressions and stuff like that. So, so if you're using Complete Control to generate a chord sequence just by pressing one key, um, and you want those MIDI notes, you'll probably find that when you record it straight from Complete Control, you just get that one note. If you wanna get the actual MIDI notes for the chords, um, then you have to go through these, these simple steps. So what I'll do is I'll show you in here in Ableton. I've already got complete control set up here on, on my channel one. Um, and you'll see in a minute when I, when I open that up, which is just behind me. So down here, complete control. I've opened up the, uh, the gentleman piano. So on that track. So that's me playing a chord, and if I uh, then click on scale, uh, you choose your root note of your chord, click on the drop down, chord set, and play, play any key. There you go, it's just playing one key each time. So some people call that cheating. I actually call it inspiration because I think sometimes you just have that little mental block when you when you're trying to play some calls, come up with some new calls, and sometimes you're like, oh, I like that call, even if you just play the one call, um, and then you can create a whole new tune from that. So you play your chord structure, create, then you can concentrate on creating melodies and stuff like that. So if anything, I think it just uh, improves the creative workflow process. Um, so what we're going to do is, so I've, I've done that now, if I record that on here and go back into here, just record. All right, so if I play that back, this is in the complete control, you'll see I've only got the notes that I've actually just been playing, not the chords. So. How do you output the chords? Well, what I do is I create a new MIDI track here and I change my MIDI from uh, Complete Control VST, which isn't these up here, it's down the bottom here. So Complete Control VST, then I select In and on this Post FX, select here Complete uh, Complete Control VST, Complete Control. Select that. now arm this track now once you've recorded in here so you've recorded your chords in here you arm this track you record it and it will open up here you'll see it recording that's it so i've opened up now you've got all your midi notes there and you can do what you want with them just think it's a really useful thing to do because you might want to create later on arpeggios or create calls and of course if you fold that You've seen all the notes you're using in that particular key. You can use it as an instrument for learning the notes in those keys as well. So um, that's it really. So thanks for joining me. I hope you've learned something there. It was just a quick episode. If you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you don't, let me know in the comments below. But thanks for joining me and thanks for taking the time to watch. Cheers now. Bye.